Hey, welcome back to another Copy AI live demo. Today, I'm going to show you how to use AI to write low content books fast. And actually, I'm not going to show you. We've got a special guest, Zachariah Stratford, joining us again. Actually, our most watched uh, live demo that we did so far on the Copy AI channel was with Zachariah teaching you how to write a book with AI. So we thought we'd bring him back to talk about a really popular concept of low content books that can help you build your brand and uh, become a published author way faster than ever before. So Zachariah is going to show us how to do that. And uh, we're going to get into a few things today. You know, what are low content books? How you can use AI to do some market research, create your avatar for your ideal reader, um, creating outlines for your content, the first draft, and then using AI to edit that down and get it published faster than ever. Zachariah, thanks for being here today. Dude, what do you so got happy to be here and start 2023 off right with Copy AI, talking about books is my two favorite things. So <laughs> I'd love to see where everyone's tuning in from. Um, I know you and I both are in Austin, so say hi in the chat. Let me know what's going on. And uh, I'd like to hear too, if anyone has thought about writing books or has seen maybe you know, anything on using AI to write books as well. And also if you're not, you know, if you're just checking out copy AI and you're not really thinking about writing a book, you're going to learn a lot today about some basic strategies that can work for anything when you want to create any kind of product or service. And if you want to dive into using AI to get ideas out of your head and create content that will resonate with your audience, this will be a great training for you as well. So it's a fun yeah. exercise that can work for really any task that you have, but it's also really cool to learn about a new strategy, low content books and what that can do for your brand and maybe help you, you know, elevate your status as a published author way faster than you ever thought possible. Absolutely. Oh, I, I was in the private chat. Now I see the comments. All right. We got New Zealand in the house, scientific paper using literature review using this tool. Okay. St. Louis. Canada. I don't know about literature review of scientific paper. Um, you know, what I've seen with AI is, is um, you know, you have to fact check everything and everything that it produces. So uh, we can talk about that a little bit. But I wanted to touch on to, um, you know, when it comes to and what we're showing today is like writing low content books. One of the other trainings that we did was writing a full on book. Um, but what the great part is about a, the blend of AI and like jumping into copy AI and, you know, going in and potentially writing a book with it is you have to do a couple of different things. It's almost threefold, right? When, you, when you're writing a book, it's not just the content that you write to produce the book. It's the avatar research, which you can use AI to do. It's the offer, right? If you have an offer on the back end and a lot of people write books to promote, you know, their business. So that, that comes down to offer research as well. So you're really tackling three different targets of that you need in any business, right? Um, it, lots of content, which uh, the book helps you do. It helps you refine kind of your messaging, your brand messaging as well. And then the avatar research and um, the offer research, right? To making a really good offer to get people from your book or any, right? Whether that's any content you produce from any content you produce with Copy AI to any offer that you have. So, um, I always think like someone starting off with, with an AI tool, right? Writing a book is the best thing that you can do because it just, it helps you produce so much content in such a little amount of time. So. Yeah. And what I've, uh, we've kicked around an idea and you've challenged me to write a book this year. So I'm doing your challenge using AI to write my book. And I think what's also cool is you can create, uh, you get ideas out of your head. You start to get your core message for your brand and how you want to show up in the world. And you could even write content ideas for the whole year. So we're going to show something today on how you could uh, come up with low content book outlines that could also translate into social media content, engaging content for your audience, just endless ideas here. So why don't we dive in? Let's I know you've it. got some slides to show. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm going to be watching the comments. So if you guys are here hanging out, be, feel free to drop your questions in the comments. We'll try to help you out today as best we can. You also have uh, something you're going to show us today, a, a free resource you put together. Mm -hmm. I know you've got a link to that. So if you guys want to check out uh, the freebie that Zachariah put together, you can go yeah. to the AIbookchallenge.com slash free. And if it's not working, I know there's a technical glitch. You'll get that fixed later for sure. 
Yeah, it was glitchy. Um, so we'll, we'll have a way around that too. So I'm going to hop in and share my screen here. Yeah, this this list that you have uh, is actually going to be really fun to explore and talk about today because you're going to learn a lot about offer creation and messaging. messaging. There we go. Yeah, absolutely. So who am I? My name is Zachary Stratford. I call myself a publishing ninja. Right. I'm a best selling author um, with my book published with Jarvis in five different categories. Um, I've published, helped publish over 100,000 different titles in the five years um, I've been in publishing. Um, I worked for, I've run a publishing company where um, last year in 2022 was actually the big catalyst and we got to over 100,000 published titles. So um, with AI specifically, I've helped publish over 50 books. Um, so you know, AI is this really great tool and it was this big, big, um, you know, catalyst for me in teaching and coaching because um, it's helped so many people who want to write a book um, actually get there. So um, I'm absolutely in love with it. And I think it definitely is the future of publishing and writing content in general. So um, you guys are in a really, really good position right now to really um, create a lot of content and be, really be at the forefront of AI and writing content creation, everything there. So um, yeah, so, so the next thing is why write a book? Right, ninety percent of people have writing a book on their bucket list, and less than one percent ever actually do. So, and there's an even smaller percentage of those books that are actually successful. Right. So, you know, the reason for writing a book, a lot of people want to share their message. Maybe they've had a difficult life. There's some something that they want to share with the world. They want to improve someone else's life. They want to increase their online visibility. They want to create a constant lead source for your business. So, if your book is listed you know, on Amazon or wherever it is, let's say it's a Wall Street Journal or New, hopefully New York Times bestseller, right? That's a constant lead source for you if you structure your book the right way. And that can work for, you know, business books, uh, memoirs, and even low content books, structuring those the right way. Um, and and really with, with a lot of books, you, when you publish them, you become the go-to expert or subject matter expert immediately. Um, it's almost like the new form of a business card, which is which is cool. And and when you say, you know, you wrote a book on the subject, you're definitely the expert, seen as the expert in that subject. The other thing we just talked about is solidifying, clarifying your brand message. It really, a book, when you're putting that structure together of a book, it really helps you kind of define what you're working on, right? Or define your offer. Um, I know, uh, Andrew, you, you kind of talk about that a little bit too and create, you know, creating a large amount of content in a short amount of time for any subject that, that you want. Um, a lot of people too, a book is a great legacy item to leave on to kids, grandkids, you know, share your life story, things like that. So yeah, um, I didn't it's know if you had powerful. anything you want to touch on. Yeah, here. it's super powerful. And uh, I mean, the AI can help you uh, get these ideas out of your head and get that first draft written. So it's, it's really fun to play with this new technology and explore things that may have felt so far away from you when it comes to like publishing more content on online and writing a book, whatever it is that you're feeling like you wish you could do more of, let, we're, you know, we're gonna show you today how AI can help you start to move in that direction. And in the next few years, AI is gonna really amplify our ability to create and publish content and uh, you know leave our legacy in a whole new way. And we're the first wave of people that have the chance to do that. So it's an opportunity right now the next couple of years to really understand how to use AI and get your message out there and it can help you elevate your brand and create the lifestyle, the business, you know, financial goals that you have as well. A uh, question here, can I, can AI generated writing be copyright registered? Do you have any insights on that, Zachariah? I, I know it's a conversation that's happening now and there's no real clear cut answer yet. Um, especially with AR, AI art coming out, there's a lot of, you know, exploratory boards and, and, um, it's a huge conversation in the AI world. I don't have an exact answer for you yet. Got it. Yeah. It's a little tricky. It's very new in the game. Yeah. And a lot of these new. things are being worked right. out right now. <laughs> yeah. Cause people are like, well, is it, does, if it's all based off of GTP three, does that mean GPT three owns all of the content that's ever produced <laughs> from their, from the, and from their AI? And I'd like to think, no, 
but you never know, right? What, what they're going to do. So the, the things we're going to talk about today, how to quickly and efficiently write a low contact book, like what is a low contact book? Um, and then the other thing, understanding your avatar. So in some of these prompts I developed for you guys special today, um, we'll kind of dive into that. It's one thing to write a book. It's another thing to know who you're writing for and why you're writing that book for them. And then kind of the hack behind it, becoming a best-selling author. I'm kind of break that down for you today so you truly understand what that means and how actually easy it is to become a best-selling author. So um, yeah, why don't we dive right into it? As questions Let's come up, it. just um, let, let me know, Andrew. I'm, I'm on full yep, screen I'll mode, so I can't see anything else. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Nothing yet. Oh. So um, dive right in. All right. So what are low content books? Right. Low content books are anything that's kind of a repeatable page. I just we just recently published a low content book um, called the the uh, AI author cookbook. And it was a stack of recipes, right? AI recipes, special recipes. And um, all that was it was a repeating page. So this is, you know, anything like journals, food journals, prayer journals, bullet journals, um, anything, with, you know, that they're writing on that you can easily repeat. Uh, that's that's what a low content book is. This could be um, also it could be planners, right? Wedding, workplace planners, family planners, school planners, um, notebooks, log books, ledgers, sketchbooks. Um, so really not a ton of like their name says, not a ton of content, right? You're keeping the content low. And so all we're going to be doing today is looking at how you can create them with AI um, and really understanding, right? What do you want to What do you want to write about, right? And and how to, how to do that? Um, it could be yeah, music comp composition notebooks, guest books, recipe books, and that's pretty much it. So let's kind of hop right in. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, and yeah, feel free to drop any questions if you guys are here right now and you're looking for other you know ways to use copy ai if you're not interested in this topic that's fine we have so many demos for you so be sure to check out the copy ai youtube channel and go to the live section and you'll see all of our previous demos which talk about blog writing email writing sales copy pretty much any task that you have when it comes to writing we've got demos for you there but today special guest zachary strafford writing books i think it's a fun topic that almost everyone can actually uh, take advantage of and apply to their business and use it as a leverage point to grow your business. So it's a fun topic today, but again, it does kind of apply to any task that you have in your business. Absolutely. Um, okay. So the, uh, you know, I think a great place to start is if you just want to get something out there, right? Like a daily journal. So what, what's inside of a daily journal, it would be I mean, if you guys have ever seen these, it's like a obviously a 365 day calendar, right? And then there's little prompts that you put inside of the calendar. So I'm going to show you um, how to use the freestyle tool inside of Copy AI to just start generate, just just to start to generate these sort of prompts. So um, if anyone has, I, I always like to get input from the audience here. So if anyone mm -hmm. has a, let's get a topic, right? that we want to write a daily journal on. So this could be maybe spirituality, fitness, mm -hmm. right? Business, um, like startup, online business. If anyone has any topic, throw it out there and let's see if we can see if we can create a quick low content book around it. Cool. Let's go ahead and I'll pop it on the screen. And if while we give you guys a chance to write that in, we'd love to help you out today so we can explore some ideas for any of you watching for your business. Give us a topic. What are you uh, an expert at? What is the topic that you help people with? Drop it yeah. in the comments. And for now, you can just show um, what's on your screen or do some general examples. Sure. All right, let's do that. So the thing that I like to do inside of the freestyle tool is um, this, uh, you really need to understand your avatar and the topic that you're going to be writing about, right? What what their need is. So my avatar is women over 50 and the topic is right their primary goal is they want to lose weight so inside of this low content book right i'm going to want to write 
300, you know, 300, obviously there's 365 pages or more. And every morning I'm going to want them to have a, a morning activity or morning routine that they do. Right. And then, um, you know, add in gratitude notes or, or anything along those lines. So um, I'm going to use AI to come up with a bunch of different morning activities and I'm going to start compiling into what will be my notes. So let's go ahead and run with this here. What are quick, 10 quick morning activities to spark inspiration? Here we go. So simple morning activities right there, spark inspiration. So I'm just gonna start compiling these. So the concept here is like, you could have a book that is maybe like 77 ways to like feel more inspired in the morning. And the book could just be 77 pages with these ideas on there and like some kind of picture. And now you're a published author. Is that the whole concept here? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's really, it's really not very difficult at all. So, um, um, and this and could turn into, do... this could turn into blog posts, uh, video ideas, right? Yeah. Write me a list of 10 mantras to repeat in the morning. So it's really, I mean, the, it's like the world is at your fingertips here. It's like, what do you want to create? And you're using a persuasive tone, which is kind of interesting in that case. I'm not, you know, I usually use a persuasive tone for like more sales copy. Mm-hmm. Have you have you found this uh, to work? I uh, I like stuff? persuasive, um, but you know, friendly. Let's try friendly. And if you want to add more details, um, sometimes I'll put in the input there. What are you the main points? I would say like the goal is I want them to feel. You know, I would add maybe more context if it's not quite hitting it. Sure. Like the, the goal is to help them feel inspired or feel more empowered, something it's like that. Go get book who want to lose weight and feel inspired every morning. Okay, let's try this. Ten mantras. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, so giving it more context immediately, right? spit out, I think almost better results. I'm strong, capable, I'm healthy, I'm beautiful. So, so those you can be adding in, right? Do 10, do 10 pushups. And then, right. You can, that's the daily mantra. So adding a mantra with the action. Right. What you're doing is creating interesting. It's we're looking at different inter, interesting ways to provide value to your audience and get known. And this is actually a fun thing. I think women in particular love these kind of like cards. You know, they could just open up a random page of a book. You see those card decks that kind of do this. I wonder too if you even took that concept of like doing ten push-ups and you could even write a blurb about that. Like, hey, write a blurb for this concept. And now it's almost like those card decks, which They'll pull a random thing. Like, what can I do right now to get out of a rut and feel more inspired? Boom, 10 push-ups and then a little like paragraph that describes why that would help them or like even have it write a longer form thing. Maybe have it write a longer form mantra, like I deserve to be healthy. Mm -hmm. And you can say like write a long... Let's do it. Yeah, even uh, I know I'm pushing you <laughs> in a lot of directions, but it's, I love it. this is, no, I, this is I where like the creativity it. flows, like, right? Like what could I do to provide value here to make it more... Yeah, exactly. And and I, that's that's what I love. It's like once you understand who you're writing the book for, why you're doing that, right? And and what their primary goal is, right? Let's do like write a list of of right, 10 foods to you could say um like 10 foods to avoid to avoid. I mean, it could even go into to go into right what to do if you're feeling down right these are all little things that ai is so good at at helping you create once you understand your avatar and their goal right avoid processed foods i mean these are pretty simple examples but if you're an expert in your niche right and creating content around your niche um you know there's a there's you can dive so deep into this 
Yeah, um, you can what scan down because uh, what's cool is like the first result oftentimes it's not the best. So right. if you keep scrolling down, you're going to see so many more ideas and different angles. So you get several results in one click that you can scan through and see like, okay, that's more of what I wanted or I like that direction or how it's just saying it this way. So getting ideas out of your head and seeing it bounce back at you really fast and different formats can be a useful tool here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And really the big thing about the big thing about um, low content books is the formatting, right? Is once, once you have all of this and you have 77 or 365, whatever that is, you know, it's, it's really, it's simple to get that formatted. Um, you can pretty so much go to like Canva and like make <laughs> yeah. a bunch of pages of beautiful stuff. It could be an ebook. It could be a PDF. You know, I mean, I think it's more advanced, but you're the publishing expert. So what, what maybe walk through like the steps of outlining it. And then how do you go from that to being a published author? Right. So obviously w once you're in here and you come up with, right, you're, you're, let's, let's just go with a hundred, right. Let's go with Right, write a list of 100 um, daily exercises. And if, well, and here's the thing is it, it can't give you 100 in one go. So the AI right now can only write so much at a time. But by telling it to write 10, you're going to get a nice mixed bag of results that you can scan through and pull out from different uh, outputs. And you can just keep generating more and more. Right. Just keep creating, keep creating content and pasting it, you know, right in here. Um, and obviously some of them are going to be better than others, right? Um, but do this 10 times and you have something really simple, right? To go from, so you do this, do 10 daily mantras, right? And then, I mean, I would see this as like a daily exercise, a daily mantra, and then have them write three things they're grateful for. That's a, that's an amazing daily journal, right? For someone to get up, feel inspired every morning, have the mantra, have the exercise and get going, get after it. Um, and then if you're like a fitness coach or you have a coaching program, something that's where you would say you would have inside of the book. Hey, if you want my, you know, free two weeks or whatever that is, you want my free mastermind on, the, the 10 steps to do to, you know, lose 20 pounds in 30 days, whatever that freebie is, what you're trying to do is create content and create books to get them off of your book and into and at your offer. So um, these, these are very easy, simple books to generate, right? You can generate 10 a year, 12 a year, right? One a month or one every two weeks. And to have this constant stream of lead sources out there for you. Um, the other thing yeah. too, that I wanted to kind of switch over to is inside of these prompts, Andrew mm -hmm. is like understanding the avatar, right? So this is the prompt I'm going to give everyone access to that's on the call today. And these are some of the top prompts that I use every single day to build, you know, help build, um, six figure businesses off of the books that we publish, right? So these are, this really helps you understand your avatar and your offer and I wanted to dive in this into this a little bit, right? But understanding, um, let me explain this worksheet here. So the four things you need to know for this worksheet is the avatar, which is your ideal customer or your ideal buyer, the niche, right? So the niche is weight loss, your product or service. Let's say you have a 30 day, you know, weight loss challenge. And then the primary goal is to lose weight. So I'm going to show you how we plug this into AI and it really helps you start to understand the person you're trying to sell to. And this okay. goes into the question here of how specific can you get? This is the, a little bit more advanced. Now we're going to dive into some of the things you can use the AI for to, to surface insights about your customer and give you creative ideas on how you can provide value to them without having to do market research because the AI has already done that. It's scanned the web for eight years. It It's read through all the forums, yeah. the social media. It, it knows all this stuff already. Your job using copy AI is to, is to dig in there and pull it out of it. Absolutely. Sorry. Is this my computer that's going off? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. So this is a great one to start with, right? What are list 20 
of my avatar's needs and problems when it comes to primary goal. And so you see, right, avatar is women over 50. Primary goal is to lose weight. So I'm going to show you how to plug that in right here. Boom. So we're kind of switching. We're switching away from creating just the simple low content stuff that you need for a daily journal into under truly understanding your avatar. And I think you said it's really good at 10. So we're just going to switch that to 10. It's about as uh, the max it can do for a list. And then what I would do is, so the brackets aren't really, I mean, it can kind of understand the brackets. What I would do in the input there is, is just add a return after each one of those. So it would see okay. like the niche would be a different line that helps the AI kind of figure out there's different bits of stuff there. That should, it should handle that pretty well. Try it. So list their needs and problems when it comes to their goal. It should have enough context there. Right. Perfect. I'm scared of losing weight. I don't want to bribe myself of food. I don't like the idea of counting calories. Don't know where to start. Like these are all great. And, and I've done, um, you know, this is kind of a topic that I use as an example a lot. And I've done a lot of research on this, like just searching through blogs. And these are absolutely complaints and issues that this avatar has when it comes to dieting and exercise. And I'm sure some of these um, may be relevant to some of you on the call, or, you know, I'm sure you've heard these when you're in your own, in your own, you know, if you've ever gone through a diet or anything like that. Um, so super fast have... and this could work for any industry. So type in your ideal customer and you're going to get in their head so much faster and with way less effort. And again, this is scanning through also forums, book reviews, you know, um, anywhere where people are complaining about these things or like they, they've, the information's out there after 20 plus years of people uploading stuff to the internet and typing things in. Now we have access to all of that crazy good insights. A question here on the technical topics, you know, how good is it at legal health, et cetera? Really important to, to know the limitations of AI. Like it, it can do a pretty good job of generally describing things, but when it gets really technical, you will need to have some expertise and you'll always want to fact check and verify that things are true. It, it can make things up. It can even create new product ideas and new ways of explaining things. But if it's very specific technical stuff, especially related to health or like, you know, if it's the types of uh, foods they should be eating for these kind of health conditions, you really want to make sure you're um, verifying that before you publish anything or put it out there. Absolutely. Um, verify, verify, verify. And then also um, use a, um, oh shoot, I'm, I'm blanking on the name, a um, plagiarism checker as well. Um, yeah, we like uh, copyscape.com as a really... Uh, super affordable one and it's like pennies to do a, a check for any plagiarism and there are chances that some things will be plagiarized but the way the ai writes is each word from scratch so if it is longer form content it's actually really good at coming up with unique things where you might find some plagiarism is really generic descriptions of something that you can't really get creative with or quotes or uh certain things that the ai will just kind of repeat mm -hmm. because that's and it only makes sense in that context but right. it's actually writing from scratch. Uh, so most of the time it's going to be plagiarism free. Yeah, absolutely. So what I love about this, these kind of prompts that I've come up with is they're super easy to change. So again, if someone wants to try a different avatar niche product or service, I'd love to see some, ex some different examples that we can play with. Maybe Andrew, let's, let's, um, I want you to give me an example. All right. Let's see here. Uh, one of my clients is a, he helps managers at in in companies. So the avatar is uh, a professional in their thirties who manages a team. And the niche okay. then is like business, like managing management. I guess would be the the niche. Maybe I added that in the avatar. <laughs> and, and the product. Let's say it's a, a course on. Um, management essentials okay. 
or to become like in a more effective manager, I guess. Uh, that's the goal, become a more effective. All right, let's try this. So list 10 of my avatars, needs, or problems. So question stays the same. You're just swapping out for what uh, works for you and your brand. And then what I want to see is going back to that, that list of prompts that you have, swapping out the input, what are you trying to create? And you can just right. keep in that description there in the input. Let's see, motivate. Yeah, setting goals for my team, how to delegate. Those are good. Systems. Setting goals, prioritizing, motivating. You see, and that's good to see repetitive themes. You're like, okay, that's definitely things I need to hit on if it's repeating some core ideas. Right. Oh, how to learn and apply the skills quickly. Yeah, that's Engaging good. Up to date, relevant, engaging, actionable. These are these are all great. So um, now let's change the prompt out. Let's go to what are the current, I like this one. What are the understanding the objections that your potential buyer might have? Boom, for their current. That, this is really important. If you are trying to sell anything, drop this in and make sure you overcome these in your marketing materials, your sales pages, your FAQs. how much time it will take. There we go. So if they're, before they buy this course, for example. Right. So they may be concerned about the time. So inside of your marketing material, you would be like an hour a day or whatever that is. You'd want to handle that objection. like pre-handle that objection, spending too much time working on management skills to make it difficult to get other work done. Again, that, that kind of how, how, right. How bulky is your course? And then they may feel like they already need to, they already know everything, right? Well, you can say, these are the latest techniques. So you're just looking at how do you, looking at the objections and then how do you overcome those? And, and this is absolutely crucial for any sort of like, like influential writing you want to do or sales writing that you want to do. Yeah. It just gives you all the answers right here. So again, <laughs> getting it, I think using I your list it. of prompts like that is so useful. So maybe you can just scan through and show us a few more of the prompts that you've found working or the ones that you like. Absolutely. So I go into inside of this list, I go into understanding the avatar and questions that I use, right? What status does my avatar want to achieve? What are their internal desires? What are their external desires, right? The top five benefits, dream outcomes my avatar will get from using my product. Um, and then questions, and this is based. This is based off of the if the book Hundred Million Dollar Offers by Alex Hormozzi. If you guys have never um, read that book, absolutely recommend it. But these are prompts based off of that book. Um, so inside of creating your own offer, right? What pain is my avatar or prospect experience, experiencing? List out all the present pain points. What else does my offer include? What is my product worth? How valuable is my product? Um, Could you take one of those and just drop it in? Let's do it. Uh, what makes a product valuable? That, that'd be pretty cool. You could actually have the AI write that. Just put that in what do you want to create? So this is using the freestyle tool and just telling the AI, hey, I want to write a section on like what makes my product valuable. And you have now that same input over and over. So you can just try writing different things that you need. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> I love this. This is very cool. All right. So this is writing sales copy for you. Are you ready to become a more effective manager? Right. 90 good course designed to help managers like you achieve your goals. This right. And this, you would just put your right product name there. Oh, professionals from small business to multinational corporations based on the latest research finding and best practices and manager training it has been proven to be effective by over 100,000 users worldwide. So obviously it's taking, it's, it's adding some stuff in here. You would, you know, if you have your own product, you'd want to have your own, right. How many people have, have used it 
right? All of your own information there. It's giving you ideas of what would be persuasive, like what would actually make it more interesting and compelling for someone to buy. So consider those like placeholders or inspiration and ideas to help you make more of an effective offer. I love this. This, this is even like playing to the ego already. You're a great manager. Your team members are happy and productive. Organization is successful because of your leadership. There's one thing holding you back and how to manage your time and resources more effectively. Now is the time to take control of your career. Start band manage. Like this is really great copy. Um, so I love that. Yeah, I love this. So and, it's giving you could, many even, ideas of how like helping you position your product as being more valuable. So even a low content book there, uh, we could even try play with that low con long, low right. content idea instead of a course, maybe the product is actually go back and let's try it with that same audience or we could do the woman over 50, like a, like a okay. 77 ways to stay inspired or like to feel inspired in the morning or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> and I actually, I have, I have something pulled up while you're typing that in, let me show my screen. Yeah. And, um, I wanted to show you guys what I was playing with is a list of 10 low content book ideas. So if you're actually not even sure what to write about, you could pop that in. And then give it like the topic or the similar kind of variables that Zachariah was showing you with, you know, who it's for, what they want. I did something similar here and it gave me some amazing ideas. So let's see here, 30 ways to get your legs moving, how to stay positive when you're feeling down, uh, how to keep your energy up after working a long day at work. All of these could turn into those, that same concept of low content book ideas. And that could be used again, repurposed for social media. So what if you started showing up uh, again, take the time to write out. 20 ways or 10 ideas. Now you're tackling all these common situations and challenges, turn it into a low content book, become a published author, and also use that same content for daily social media to engage your audience and, you know, provide value on an ongoing basis. I love, I love this. And we're kind of spidering off here too, which is, which is awesome. But you know, everyone, I want you to be thinking these could all be really amazing blog posts, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and if you wanted to turn this even into a short ebook, so let's say it's not a, let's say it's not, you know, it's not a really a journal, but, um, you know, you want to turn this in ebook, a hundred ways to love your body at any age. Um, what's <laughs> without being rich. <laughs> <That's hilarious. laughs> uh, so I kind of want to take one of these topics, Andrew, and let's let's take one of these topics and go into the blog out the blog tool and show okay. them how they can get these topic ideas and very quickly expand on the topic. So let's say low content book, but you wanted to write a quick ebook around it. All right. So let's try, I don't know, 30, 30 is kind of a lot. We'll, we'll do a shorter one. Uh, let's say, say positive when you're feeling down. How about this one? Keep your energy up after a long day at work. Cool. And let's go ahead and do an, a different tool, which... I'll just go right over here into templates and start with a, um, the blog post wizard. So you can also find that if you click on templates and then the blog section here, we can click on blog post wizard and start a new project before you do that though. I may want to save some of this. So you'll see these save tools here. I could save this within my project. I could also use the editor on the side to copy some of this and paste it over here. So you can keep these ideas handy and for the future before you move on and i could just again in one click now you have endless content that could be really interesting to build content around whether it's a, a book a free download a quick free training TikTok videos i mean just endless ideas so let's go ahead and move on now to that blog post wizard and start the new project. Now I just type in that title. Oh, let me grab, grab that other one that I had. <laughs> there we go. All right. How to keep your energy up after a long day at work. I would even add in some more context for women in their fifties who want to be more healthy and lose weight. Perfect. It might be tough to write an entire book about that, but great chapter idea, great blog idea, great YouTube title. 
right? And this can always lead back to, right? Let's say you have a book on keeping your energy, right? How to have your dream body and keep your energy up, right? In your fifties, right? That could definitely be a book title, right? And you, when you think about a blog, a blog is generally 1200 to 1500 words. So is a chapter for a book. So um, mm -hmm. these all kind of tie in with each other. And in the last training that Andrew and I did, we actually use this blog outline tool to write to quickly write an outline for a book and then expand on a chapter where we got to 1200 words in that one chapter. Um, you do that 12 times, you have a book, right? So uh, yeah, that could be one of the, like you said, all those lists, instead of turning them into individual books, that could be chapters of a bigger book. So that could be, yeah, an easy way to outline and map out. And then you could even make it a, a goal to maybe once a month, write a blog on one of these topics. And by the end of the year, you're going to have 12 blog articles that could then turn into a book. Yeah. I mean, with this blog tool, you can write a chapter in minutes. So I, I would say maybe one, cha one, cha <laughs> one chapter a week, at least not one a month. Come on. Come on. <laughs> well, I would just say by the end of the year, you have a book. You have a book done. <laughs> You're coming into my book challenge. You better be doing more. I'm going to do, I'm going to yeah, crank out books now. Um, let's see here. So I have some caffeine. So a bunch of ideas here of what they could include. And then you have these talking points within it. So go out in the sun. So sunlight's good for you. It's kind of pulling up. What could I include in there to enhance that content or that would be interesting within that section of this idea let's yeah. just move through and i'm not going to edit these but you see the idea of editing finding what you like again endless uh creative brainstorming if you are looking for ideas for social content ways to engage your audience this is a really a tool that could help you do that go mm -hmm. from uh, how could um, i help them with this thing if you see a question that comes up a lot from your audience or you see things that the ai has given you that you want to expand on drop it into the blog post wizard and now you're going to get a nice intro uh, which i don't know if i wanted to talk about me when i was younger let's try regenerating you can get a nice intro to that you have different sections like here are a few tips and ideas that could help you feel more energy at night so you can uh, instead of slouching on the couch you can feel more alive and alert and keep your metabolism high play some music you love like really good tips organize something in your house and if you see some of these that you're not loving, you can just regenerate that. So you love this framework, Zachariah, of the blog post wizard to, to expand yeah. on content, right? What, what's, what's great about this blog post wizard is it breaks everything up into sections. So when I write and coach to write nonfiction books, a chapter for a nonfiction book is structured um, like so. It's the intro, right? Which there you have the intro right there. So any intro for a nonfiction book is how you learned or earned the information, right? So maybe it's your own journey, right? Maybe it's a client testimonial that you use. Um, client testimonials and quick stories on what you're able to help them do are great intros for any chapter. Um, and then it's what you're going to cover in the chapter. So generally, that's one to four things you cover in the chapter, right? And so you see here, it already has that have caffeine, right? And I think it even, even have those. So yeah, you have those talking points within right. it. Right. So this this breaks down things that you're going to talk about in the chapter, and it goes even deeper into like sections of that section, which I absolutely love. The way Copy AI breaks this down and allows you to add more talking points. So if you're the expert on this topic, you're a you know world renowned fitness trainer, right? You're going to say you're going to have other bullet points, talking points that you're going to want to discuss. Okay, maybe it's not go for a walk. Maybe it's go for a walk. And every five minutes, you're going to do walking lunges, right? You're going to do 10 walking lunges inside of there. So it allows you to add in these little talking points, and then the AI will expand on those talking points. So very, very quickly, you can write 12 to 1500 words, even more if you go in and add more talking points, um, which I've yeah, used about every AI tool on the market. And copy AI is the only one that I've seen that that um, section like breaks the chapter or the blog down in such a way that it's easy to expand. It's easy to get, you know, 1500 words or more. And, and when you look at like a 10 to 12 chapter book, right, you're looking at 20,000 to 30,000 words. So you can see how using a tool like this, you're able to create a lot of content very quickly um, 
and and uh, add in your own voice. And yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This is a one of the most popular tools with Copy AI. There's been literally like hundreds of thousands of blogs written and those blogs could be used for much more than just a blog. Book writing is a big one there. Uh, you see here, we can even, so it sometimes gets a little bit like glitchy where it might repeat or kind of lose track. But if you just regenerate, what you may want to do is create a doc on the side and you could actually just kind of play with a format like this where you can say, uh, go for a walk. And let's say this was like the, a chapter or a sub, a sub chapter, right? I don't know what you call that. Mm -hmm. Yeah go for a walk. Let's just try popping that in. And now we have some of the points here you want to hit. You see how this result gave us quite a bit of content and you can actually write more and you can even play with those talking points in this phase where you give it some more ideas and it will try to pull from that and weave it into your content. And now this one, it does start to repeat at some point. So if you feel like, well, you know what, kind of maxed out on that. Mm -hmm. that version let's just regenerate and we have that content over here so now i can regenerate and it'll give me some new angles let's see what it came up with this time take a walk if you want to lose weight every five minutes do 10 lunges so I mean, adding even, that. even low content books you know using this tool to generate a small paragraph of the activity super easy so then in each of those you know you would add in a, a talking point right? Each of those activities, let the AI do the work for you. Um, and then you're just kind of formatting at the end. Food, let's see, eat exercises. Yep. And I can just keep regenerating there. Pretty cool though, that you have, you know, within this narrow focus of like one chapter, one section of the chapter, now I can kind of expand on that and try some new things. And you could even regenerate talking points to have it try some different angles. You could even give it a new title here or go back and, and work on that. But at this point, if you're feeling like, yeah, you know, it's not quite there, you can just regenerate talking points and let's see what it comes up with this time. All right. Walk for 30 minutes, three days a week. All right. Maybe there's something there. Let's go ahead cool. and regenerate the content. Walk with a friend if you can. You can just play within this one little space right there. And boom, you're, you're moving on. I mean, right there. Yeah. That's, that's a cool idea for a low content book. So it's almost like thinking the same way, uh, little tips and things using this outline tool could help you come up with almost like each page could be one of these, right? Yeah. Each page could be that right. Walk at a, well, I, I think go for a walk and then like this section, go for a walk would be on that one page. Right. So if you're looking to got it. So each of these would be a each would be, each of those would be on one page. And then again, OK, that's that's my Two daily task. Right. For the day. And then. Right. One other thing is like three things you write to write down in the journal, three things you're grateful for. So um, the ability to write and expand mm -hmm. um, and low content books. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not being super specific in an exact way to do it because it really <laughs> is. I mean, there's so many different ways you can take this. It really is, right, who you're writing for and what you want them to do, right, what their primary goal is. Um, and, and really, AI makes it so, so easy to do that. Um, it's fun, right? Because people do this without AI and that's a lot of thinking. It's, uh, so it's now a it's a way more fun. It's a more fun process. So try this out for yourself. Uh, Zachary, I'd love to take a couple minutes. Uh, we'll, we'll pause here. And if anyone has any questions, we'd love to give you a last chance, drop your questions in the comments. We've got another 10 minutes to help out. I'll stick around. Zachary, I want to make sure everyone knows where to find those prompts that you came up with. And if you could just scan back through them and maybe yeah. show your screen again, so we could take a look at those and again, reiterate how they could use those with copy AI. Absolutely. I'd love to see, uh, you know, is anyone motivated to write a book? Is it, have we inspired, have, have we inspired anyone today? And, and um, you know, lots of people have writing a book on their bucket list. So I'm curious um, to see. Let us know. We see you all here. Don't be shy. <laughs> we got a shy group today. We've got like 20 people live. So thank you guys for being here live today. Again, if you need more help, 
You can join the uh, Copy AI Facebook group. Check out the Copy AI YouTube channel. We've got uh, many more demos for specific use cases that you may be um, trying to figure out. How can AI help me write a blog, write emails, write social media content? We've got demos for all of that. Today, we've got Zachariah Stratford here from uh, the AIbookchallenge.com giving you advice uh, from his experience of you know helping publish over 100,000 books. Um, so can you see my screen? Yep, let me pop it up okay. again. There we go. Again, yeah. So these, like I said, I use these every time I write a new offer, every time I write a new book, every time I help someone or they hire me to write their book for them. Um, these are the questions that I go over with them. I either do it myself or I go over with them. These are the exact ones that I use. Uh, and I've, you know, I've done a lot of this. So I, I I truly believe that, right, if you guys are getting into business, if you are have an offer, go through these exercises, let the AI help you. It, it really takes down that research time, that avatar research time, understanding your customer. I mean, it cuts it drastically down. So, um, you know, how do I live, deliver value? What is the value of your product or service, right? And then these kind of group ratio these these prompts down here, you would say if I wanted to provide a and then you see it says group ratio. And let me zoom in a little bit here. Is that easier to read? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if I wanted to provide a one-on-one, -on -one, I give you the the prompts right there. If I wanted to provide a one-on-one -on -one delivery solution for the problem above, what could I offer? All right. So again, the problem is their primary goal. Right. You should you you'll have all that information. If I wanted to provide a small group delivery solution for this offer, right? You're in your you, acting. Drop AI. it in. Drop that into the copy. Yeah, let's let's try it. Okay. I'll, I'll show you how that could be done. So we have that prompt already in there. This, yeah, I guess you could try it up there. That'd be interesting if it can handle that. Let's let's try it out. So one on one delivery solution. The only thing there is the above part would need to be changed. Uh, you see the elaborate. Um, let's see here. That whole thing there, you could probably keep it in there. It just said something like above. So yeah, maybe you removed it. Yeah, delivery solution for the problem. What could I offer? I got All right, try it. Yeah, try. I'm just curious if you can handle that. So you're trying to figure out a uh, one-on-one. -on -one. All right, the first one's a little rough, but scroll down. Let's see what else it came up with. So it's it's factoring in that product that we gave it. So it's trying to sell that or, or slam that into that Let's offer. Of yeah, if you just remove that, um, the product, since we're trying to ask what is the product that I could create. And then I believe Afif had a question. I, I'm not seeing it up there. Yeah, yeah. Hey, um, I would answer it, but I don't see the question. <laughs> so you said uh, a couple of times you said, sorry, if my question is a bit out of topic. So you didn't actually write the question. Happy to answer it if you can, in the next couple of minutes, put in the question. I didn't see it in the comments. There you go. Uh, targeted younger women, but few targeted older women, less competition, more money to be made. Make the program include meal plan, exercise plan, right? Uh, diet plan, that's good. Maybe it's actually writing the pitch here as like an email. I think it's let's persuasive. Go. This, let's go with, let's go with. Uh, and what, what you could do too here is uh, like, what are you trying to create? Uh, I can maybe take Ooh. that section that out, instead of that long input, I would say like an idea for an uh, offer or a service. Okay. And then paste that other thing down below in the input. Okay, give me an idea for a one-on-one -on -one, um, offer. Yeah, so, and then if you want it in the other part below, you could paste in what you had up there. Okay. And I did develop these for kind of, you know, you, to be used with any AI tool. So you can see how we're, if we're not getting the answers that we want, we're playing with it. And I think that's really with, with any with copy AI or any other AI tool, you really need to have the ability to tinker with things. They're not always perfect. You're not always going to get the best answer, the best response. But if you know that and are 
patient with the AI tool um, and can tinker with it and play with it a little bit, you're really going to, that's going to propel you and um, you're going to be much better at using AI tool and obviously get better results. Yeah. I think that's, what's cool about that list that you put together is you're giving all of us ideas of what we should be asking or what kind of, what kind of things can I get out of the AI that would help me move forward? So let's see if that handled it there. I'm curious. And then we'll finish with that thought. And then I'm going to pull up that uh, link again. They can check out. Cool. And, and then, then we'll yeah, wrap up. I have a, um, if the link isn't working, there are some issues with it just before the call. Um, I'm going to put, let's, I have a 12 o'clock. I got to hop forward to, yeah, let's yep. put my email, um, in the, in the chat. And if you guys just shoot me an email, I'll make sure to get that over to you. Yeah. Why don't, I, why don't you, um, I can put it on the screen right now if you want, or cool. Yeah. We can do it in the it's chat. Just hello at the AI book All right, cool. I'm going to drop that in. So you guys can email Zachariah. Hello at the AI book And then later today, most likely you'll have that page fix, yeah. which is the AI book challenge.com slash free to get right. the, the prompts that he was showing you. I got to so let's see how that now. handled that. Perfect. Health coach, you know, who I'm working with so they can reach their goals, feel great about themselves. Ciao. Now this is a private environment. We can talk about your goals, make a plan together. So, okay, that's good. One-on-one. -on -one, Let's go like one too many. So again, you're not getting the well, results it, that you want. Play with it a little bit, right? The it's problem good. there is that in the input, you have one to one. So it's going to oh, be like, uh, <laughs> what do you want? Okay. <laughs> it's like when they say like manifestation, like what are you asking the universe? Like if you're conflicted in what you're asking for, <laughs> you're going to be stuck. They ask, the universe is not going to give you what you need because it doesn't know what you're asking for. Oh, here you go. This is great. So I would offer subscription service so they get personalized plans based on their needs and goals. It could be a monthly subscription that includes food recommendations, exercise, tips on how to stay motivated. That's a perfect one-to-many solution. So thank you, Copy AI. So again, playing with it until you get the, the, um, the results that you want, I think is critical here, guys. And um, I know we went a bunch of different ways, a bunch of different ways today. <laughs> we got through most of it. Look at this. We got through our list. Um, you know, now you guys know about low content books. You can use AI for all this research, describing your avatar more clearly, getting these outlines, first draft, editing. Check it out, guys. AIbookchallenge.com slash free. Thank you for that list of prompts, Zachariah. That alone is super valuable. So I'm going to get it myself and be sure to play with that to write more compelling offers and Absolutely. create cool products and books. Absolutely. Well, any final thoughts? Just, um, you guys, 2023 AI is coming like lightning speed and more and more people are adopting it. So the sooner you get on and start taking advantage of like, we're still in the early stages, get on now, make 2023 your year and start scaling your business with AI. Zachariah, thank you so Mike much. Drop. <laughs> Mic drop. Eric said yes. He's excited about the the uh, writing a book this year. Cool. Uh, Jeff said he loves the idea of the book challenge. So you guys yep. can check it out too. Hit up Zachariah, email him, check out the the site and the AI get book challenge .com If you want to join, um, we have a we have a challenge coming up starting Monday, um, and then I'll also be doing a February challenge. So feel free to reach out to me there, and um, hopefully I'll get to see you guys again soon. And I'm doing it myself. I'm writing my book with the help of Zachariah. So I appreciate you, Zachariah. Absolutely, Take care, man. man. All right. We'll see you. Bye.